Okay, so today we're going to mark the dog fence for aeration. So I'll just demonstrate how this is done using your receiver. Uh, verify your transmitter is plugged in. We're going to walk out towards the wire with the receiver. And when it starts beeping, the wire is very, very close. In that point, then we're going to put a flag down. And then we're going to go to another location. All right, we've got the receiver out here. We start walking in towards the wire, beeping, and the wire is in that vicinity. And we put a flag down. And one more time, I'm going to back off, walking in towards the flag, towards the wire. Collar starts beeping. And we put a flag down. And one more time. Walking towards the wire. Collars beeping. And we put a flag down to mark it. Okay, so if you would like to get closer to the wire even yet, the number that is displayed on the transmitter in the garage is the distance the collar goes off from the wire. If you come out to your yard, locate a general idea of where the where the wire is, then come back, lower the number on your transmitter by either pushing the bottom arrow or button down. And the smaller you make the number, the closer the collar will go off to the wire if you need to be more precise. But we highly recommend that if you're gonna be aerating this, uh, this spring or doing any yard work, you do locate the fence before working, uh, once you cut the wire, you will not be your collar will not function, and uh, we can also come out and do this service for you. We currently are uh, charging sixty-five dollars to come out, mark your yard. We'll mark it right on the wire, and then you can be uh, safe knowing that your pet fence is working while you're doing the uh, aeration or other landscaping.